Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I hope you all got some sleep last night. We didn't get much, but uh, I hope you got a little bit. Uh, I know we had all a very long night, but at the end of the day, or an early morning as the case may be, uh, I'm proud and humbled to stand here as the next governor of the state of Wisconsin, along with Mandela Barnes, who will be the next lieutenant governor, and Sheila Stubbs, who will be a great representative from the Madison area. I'm also thrilled by the victories last night of Josh Call and Sarah Godlewski, and who will be also great partners in, in forming this new government. And of course, we'll also be glad that we're sending back to Washington, D.C., Tammy Baldwin, our great U.S. Senator. We have every confidence in the results last night, and uh, we've seen a lot of enthusiasm about the race and the, and, the, and the win that we had last night and excitement about what's coming to Wisconsin. As I said to the crowd this, this morning, we have won last night, but the race is now over, and now it is time for us to come together. I just, as a result of that, I, or in addition to that, I just read a gracious call from Governor Walker, who, uh, who uh, just a little bit ago, he said that he conceded the race and was very gracious and talked about uh, the transition and how his staff will be available for, uh, uh, for our staff to create the new government, government and it was a, a very, very good conversation. Uh, this afternoon, I also reached out to Majority Leader Fitzgerald and Speaker Voss, and I'm eager to begin work with them in the near future on solving, helping find ways to solve the problems that are facing the state of Wisconsin and finding long-term solutions, bipartisan solutions to the things that people care about, like roads and make sure we have a good public education system and health care. So we're going to begin that process now. That's part of the transition, making sure we do the right things for the people of Wisconsin. So right now, um, we are going to begin by leading by example. In the next few days, we'll be releasing information about our transition team and how that's all going to play out in the very near future. Clearly, we're ahead of the game. We've been thinking about this for some time, and we believe that we will have a good plan going forward so that we set up government in the, in the right way. So I'm also looking to um, staff the Evers administration with some really significantly talented people rep representing the diversity that the state of Wisconsin has. And we're going to pick people who will always, as we do, the three of us standing up here, put the people of Wisconsin first. So thank yes, I was wondering, how does it feel to finally be across the finish line? <laughs> well. You know, I have to tell you, I, I felt confident in our in our possibilities uh, all the way along in this race. And uh, actually, we were sitting at home last night with our grandkids and kids, and uh, it was getting late, but I knew we were going to win. But they're all falling asleep, so I sent I sent them home. And uh, as as a, as a result, a lot of them couldn't be with us last night on stage, but. It felt good, but there was never any question in my mind that we were going to win this race, and so we feel confident going forward. Clearly, we're tired, but uh, we're excited. We're excited about the transition plan that we put together so that we're going to have a great government, government transition. Uh, it's always difficult to make that happen, but as I said before, Governor Walker was very gracious in the conversation. If you don't